Just look at that cute little nose and those lovely long claws. Poor little Spongebob had been wandering along a low wall when she fell off and landed in a recycling crate with the broken old sponge. She was tightly curled and very hissy when we were called in by a secret world to collect her. At 300 grams, Spongebob is too small to hibernate, but the sudden cold nights will make the natural food source scarce. If she survives the night, she will move to Secret World Wildlife Hospital tomorrow. After about an hour, we finally have some movement. Although struggling to right herself, I'm reluctant to help and risk her rolling up again. Let's just hang on for a moment. Come on. You can do it. Made it. Right now she's very unsteady and sporting a large tick behind her ear. She also sounds a bit snuffly, but at least she is starting to lick the water off the food. Let's top up that water. This is the most important thing right now, as the shaking is a sign of dehydration. After some more drinking, the shaking has lessened and the jelly looks tempting. It's really rather satisfying to see the difference in her. What a lovely sound. Ooh, we're getting quite adventurous with these big chunks. I'm guessing my daughter, you're going to weigh a bit more than 300 grams. <laughs> mm -hmm. Likes the jelly, really. You do. Boy. Need some more. You were eating much more vigorous now when you first had your. This is great stuff. I want to see if you'll eat the hog food. That's hog food. Um, actually, I prefer the. Um, hog food's easier. Hog food. Time to pop in a new heat pad and some extra food before we go to bed. Good night, SpongeBob. Morning, SpongeBob. It's so good to see you looking alert this morning. You enjoy your breakfast. Then we'll clean you out and pop in some newspaper and hay before we leave. Right, off we go to Secret World. Well, that's the fastest I've ever made the 30 minute run. Come on, SpongeBob. We will be checking up on you very soon. <laughs>